Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fresh Education. I will be your host today, Dane McKenzie, and today we're talking about a special and interesting syndrome or method. It's called the Erling Method. I'm not an expert on it, and I don't know too much about it myself. But today we have a special guest named Melissa Mackey, who has dealt with this syndrome for many years. She has also took part in the Erling Method in three different ways. She's here to tell us about it today. Let's welcome Melissa McAfee. <laughs> Melissa, thank you for joining us today. I see you wearing some interesting glasses, but before we talk about the glasses, I would like you to give us a good understanding of what the Erling Method is, or what the Erling Syndrome is. Well, Erling Syndrome is kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say it's like a disability where when you're trying to read um, and comprehend what you try to read in anything, pretty much any day kind of thing, and the words kind of, they don't really go together. Sometimes they kind of like move apart, sometimes they'll like go up and down on the page or like fall off the page or go in circles or whatever, and so it's very difficult to read. So the way you see the words on the page actually changes? Yeah. Now does it change or is it just the way you always see it? It, it definitely changes with um, with when you read at different times or whatever. Like sometimes I can read and it'll be fine. Other times it can be just a little fuzzy. Sometimes when I've maybe been reading for a long time, that's when it starts to really distort and go really weird. Okay. And just maybe different times of the day, it, it really varies when you read. So it kind of varies on when you, on when you read it. And so how... How does the early method control that? What's their, what's their idea to overcome the words changing on the page? Um, their idea is that different colors, that if you look through different colors of glasses and stuff like that, it just helps the brain, like instead of looking through different lenses, it just helps the brain to be able to make those things into focus again. Okay, so it's like if I needed to wear glasses to put things into focus, it would be the same thing for somebody that struggled with an early center, Although it wouldn't necessarily change the lens of the eye, it would just change the color of what was just allowed. Just how much light gets in and out. Okay, so is it kind of like a light sensitivity? Yep. Syndrome? Okay, right on. So when you first started um, realizing that something was needed in your reading, what, what about was that? It kind of started ever since I first started school. My parents had taken me to the eye doctor lots of times. And I would go through different pairs of glasses, and nothing would seem to work. Um, they think they found something that would work, and it wouldn't. And so eventually, my eye doctor in grade five, I think it was, had heard about this early syndrome. It was kind of a new thing to Alberta. There was only one person who they had ever heard of that had it and stuff, and so he decided that it might be something we should check out. Okay. So in, you said five years old or grade five? Grade five. Grade five. So grade five... What do you think your reading level was about? Well, they told me that my reading comprehension at grade 5 was around grade 1, maybe 2. Okay, so grade 5 and a reading level of grade 1, so that would, it would be quite a struggle for you. Oh, yeah. So did you find that, like, did you just get glasses right away? They went in and said, what's your favorite color? You said green, and they <laughs> gave you glasses, or how did... No, it was a very, very long process to get the glasses and everything. There was... Um, this person who did the testing in Alberta and we went to her for quite a few hours and did different sheets and stuff over the paper to figure out what kind of colors would help with my eyes and everything and then eventually another lady from Ontario had to come and do final testing so then we had I just used those sheets over top of my those sheets reading. what what sheets um, they're just little thin colored sheets that you can read through Okay, so instead of looking through a glass, you have like a color overlay that you would lay yeah. on the paper. Yeah, that's what Okay, called. and so are there different colors? Like I see your glasses as kind of a dark green. Is, is there... Yeah, there's lots of different colors. You can have anywhere from like pink or green or blue, and so they red, test orange. They test these overlays. They would overlay them on what you're reading and you would just tell them yes, better, no, not better. Yep. And so they see if they can decipher what color would help you. Yeah. Now, did you find that it helped? Yeah. Like if I the did. words are moving around, they would overlay this color, and it and it would help. Yeah. And it would help. It would but help. a certain amount of sheets would have to help because it couldn't just be one sheet of green. 
because the amount of sheets to get that certain color is what made the difference oh, and would okay. make it until it was perfect. Okay. I could see. And did you find any side effects with this syndrome? Like were there were there headaches? Was it nausea or was it just an inability to read? Or did you not like reading? Or no, there was lots of things that came along with it. I mean, when I would read, my eyes would get really sore and itchy. I'd get really bad headaches a lot. Like especially just being out in the sun. Period. I'd get bad headaches. Oh, really? And so, yeah, that. And then my eyes would hurt and stuff. And so now these glasses that you have. Um, what if somebody just really didn't like glasses? Is there other options? Just those overlays. And you can get contacts. Oh, you can get contact lenses, and they just yeah. put the color rate in the contact lens. Yeah, you can either get the entire lens as a color, or you can just get a circle in the middle. Where are the people would be. Where the people oh, okay. would be. So. Cool, that makes sense. So do you find yourself wearing the glasses, kind of almost like sunglasses then, just all the time, or is it more just when you read you put them on? Um, for myself, I usually just wear them when I read, but it is something that you are supposed to wear all the time. That you were supposed to wear all the time. Yeah. Okay, so like if somebody had the contacts, You'd they be would wearing be them all day. basically be wearing them all day. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. We have to go to a commercial break, but we will come back with more information <laughs> on the <laughs>